hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC how to implement multiple models in a single view using entity framework and here we got the final output notice we got the model 1 country list model 2 state list and the model 3 is a city list and my country table I have only three records with the country names India US and Australia let's check in my SQL server database table also see dbo.country contains two columns CID C name India US and Australia and this is a state table which contains three columns and as well as a city table which is a final model I have added in the index view page this one if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates for this video tutorial, I am creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. I am choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1. The application name is Models Single View. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm choosing MVC. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Let's close this window. First, I'm adding the adword.net entity models in this project. Open Solution Explorer. Right click the project name. Add adword.net entity data model. The model name is multiple model click OK and from the model contents I'm choosing the first option next I'm creating a new connection I'm adding the SQL server name after adding the server name I'm selecting the database name sample DB test connection is succeeded ok ok and here I got the connection string of this sample DB and I want to save this sample DB connection string in the web.config file click next and from the database objects I am expanding the tables as well as the DBO I am choosing three tables one is a country second one is a state and third one is a city so I am adding three models and these three models I want to display in a single view click finish and here I got the three models country, state and city now I'm creating a classes in the models folder open solution explorer I'm minimizing the references right click the models add class the first one I'm adding country class add in this country class I'm creating a public properties public int for the country I have two columns so I need two properties CID get set the second one is a string public string which is a country name get set now I'm adding the second model open solution explorer right click the models add class the class name is the state class add now in this state class I'm creating three public properties state ID state name and country ID public int SID get set 
public string s name get set and the last column is a country id get set now the last model i'm creating for the city right click the models add class city class add in the city class i have three columns one is a city id second one is a city name and the third column is state id public int city id get set public string get set and the last one is a public int state id get set after creating the multiple models uh, now i'm creating a new controller in the controllers folder open solution explorer the controllers folder right click that one add controller and i'm choosing mvc for controller empty add the controller name is multiple controllers add here we got our multiple controller to implement multiple models in a single view there are different methods we have but in this video i'm using the dynamic with expander object so first i'm adding using system the dynamic namespace after that i'm adding namespace models model single view dot models after adding these two namespaces now in the action result index i'm adding the dynamic creating an object dy is equals to new expander object after adding the expander object with the dynamic i'm creating a methods public list the first list is a country which is a table name get countries is a method name now in this method i'm adding my connection string database context sample db entries as d is equals to new sample db entries list country L country is equals to sg dot countries dot to list method and the return is the L country the list country object now I'm creating a second method get states instead of writing again the same I'm copying here just I'm changing from country to state these are the table names and the method name is the get states state sd dot states to list and I'm changing the object name also here else state copy this one and the return is else state the same thing for the city get cities the table name here is a city city the object name is the L city SD dot cities to list and the return is the L state L city sorry that's it we have created the methods get countries get states and get cities 
now in this action result index dy dot I'm creating a variable is a country list is equals to get countries I'm adding the method name dy dot state list is equals to get states dy dot city list is equals to get cities is a method name and the return view is a dynamic object dy this one that's it we have done the coding part in the controller now the leftover is the index view page before adding the index view page to this project we need to build the project first build build solution and here we got the message in the output box build succeeded highlight the index right click the one add view the view name is the index only and the template is empty without model I am choosing add and here we got the index view page also now in this index view page the first thing I'm adding at using the project name is a model single view which is this one I'm copying this one the models I'm adding as well as I'm adding the at model dynamic these two steps are very important now here I'm changing the header to multiple models in a single view using dynamic expando object horizontal line I'm adding center tag I'm adding this center tag above the header tag h1 model 1 is a country list horizontal line I'm adding table tr th country list we have two columns CID and C name country ID country name the table border is equals to 1 now we need to display the records from the country table for that I'm using for each loop at for each the table name is a country cn in model dot here I'm adding the object the country list of the from the dynamic object tr td at cn dot cid second column at cn dot cnm that's it we have added the model country in this index view page now the next model is the state model so what I'm doing I'm copying this whole up to the table ending part model 2 which is a state list in the state list in the state list we have three columns SID, SNAME and CID CID 
state id state name and the last one is a country id now here in the for each loop i'm deleting the country class i'm adding state class state st object model dot we need to add the object of the dynamic state list paste here at st dot state id st dot state name and the last column is the country id which is a cid now let's copy again the last model model number 3 city list in the city list we have three columns city id city name and state id city id i'm changing the header city name and state id i'm deleting the state class i'm adding the city class city table sorry model dot we need to add the city list object this here I need to change this one to city object city dot city id city dot city name and the last one is the city dot state id that's it we have done the complete coding part we have three models country class state class and city class with one controller and these three model classes i have added in the index view page now before run this application the main important thing is we need to change our controller name in the road config class expand app underscore start road config dot cs open that one I notice the controller name is a home which is a default one I'm deleting that one our controller name is multiple I'm adding here and the action result view page is the index only which is this one now it's time to check the results on the browser Google Chrome And here we got the final output. Notice we got the model 1 country list, model 2 state list, and the model 3 is a city list. In my country table, I have only three records with the country names India, US, and Australia. Let's check in my SQL Server database table also. See dbo.country contains two columns CID, C name, India, US, and Australia. And this is a state table which contains three columns and as well as a city table which is a final model I have added in the index view page this one that's it